Hello everyone, welcome to Steam Code. In this video we're going to be creating a tic-tac-toe bot using discord.js. And keep in mind that we are in our, my discord server. You can check that out in the description down below. Ask me questions, make suggestions, and ask for help. Alright, so let's get into how the actual tic-tac-toe bot will work. So, we have the slash command tic-tac-toe. And it's sending the command, and as you can see, the command returned. So now I can play. My turn is X, so let's play right here in the corner. And then I can go to, or anyone else can go to whatever other account they have. So I have two accounts connected to the same server. So let's go down to the bot commands. And as you can see, the moves are synchronized. So now let's say I play. Both of them respond at the same time. And as you can see, you can just continue playing as you would do normal tic-tac-toe. And this and the embed up here updates as each move is made. All right, so let's get into the actual code and how to actually get this to work. So the way this works is I will tell you what the code is that I have because I already have it all written down, but I'll go through it line by line. And so let's hop into where we need our actual command to be. So we need to have a command in tic-tac-toe.js, but there are some other files that we need. So if you don't have these files already made by watching my series, you can get them from github.js or from, from GitHub and you can find my discord.js tutorial series. But the files that you're going to need are index.js. This has the command handler and the basic information that you need to actually get the bot up and running deploy commands.js now this deploys all of our slash commands so each time we edit a slash command or create a new one we need to run this file deploy command so that it's actually uploaded onto the discord server and we need the ready event now this basically just turns the bot on once it's ready all right so now i want you to create a file called tic-tac-toe.js and within this file we're going to first define slash command builder, and that's equal to require discord JS slash builders, then message action row, message action button, and message embed. And this will be require discord.js. So now we have module.exports equals data new slash command builder, so we're creating a new slash command. The name of the slash command has to be the same as the name of your file. So if your file is not named tic-tac-toe, the name has to be something different. And the description can be anything anything that you want replies with tic-tac-toe is what I'll have my description as. And now we have the execute function. So this function executes once the command has been run. So we're going to create a row. The first row will contain three buttons. So constant row run equals new message action row. Then we're going to add components. And within this add components method, we have three different variables, new message button, the custom ID for this one will be cell zero. So this is the button on the way in the top left hand corner, then cell one, and then cell three, the labels for each of them will just be a dash, and the style will be set to secondary that just makes it so that it has a gray color. For row two, we have cell three, cell four and cell five, everything's the same as up here. And then last week, we have row three, cell six, cell seven, and cell eight. And then at the bottom of our code, we have await interaction dot reply. And then we reply with the embed. So within embeds, we need an array. And then we recreate a new embed. So new message embed. And the title is set to turn X. So that's the embed that you see up here. Each time you click, it changes. We'll, set, we'll get to how you're going to actually make it do that in a few minutes. And then we're also going to have within the same reply, we're going to have components and the components will be each row, row one, row two, and row three. So now let's hop into where we actually get this code to do something. So now let's head into interaction create, and this is an event handler. It handles the event of an interaction being created, such as a button being pressed. So each time a button is pressed, this command runs, or each time a message is made, the same thing happens. So within interaction create, we have our constant message embed and that's equal to require discord.js and within our module.exports the name has been set to interaction create it's the same name as the file on is equal to true and we have the execute function just like we had for tic-tac-toe 
So within this execute function, we have if the interaction is a button, then we're going to say if the interaction includes a cell. Because there are going to be multiple interactions that are buttons but don't necessarily relate to tic-tac-toe within this bot. So if the interaction.customID.includes cell, then we need to get the clicked cell number. And so the number of the cell that was clicked. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to get the custom ID of the interaction. So remember, it's the IDs that we set up here. So cell 0, cell 1, so on. So we get the custom ID. We substring that by the I, by the length of that ID minus one. So that just gets the last digit of that ID. So instead of getting the entirety of cell zero, cell one, and so on and so forth, we just get the zero, we just get the one, and we just get the two. All right. Now we need to get the clicked row number. So this is the row that was clicked on. And we just divide the cell number by three and then floor that. What that means is that we get, the, we get the cell number, we divide it by three, that could be a decimal or it could be an integer, but we turn it into an integer by flooring it, which just truncates all of the decimal after the point. Now we need to get the actual button that was clicked. So in order to get the actual button that was clicked, we say interaction.message.components, and then we get the click cell number divided by three and floor it. So remember, this is the same thing we did to get the row number. So right now we have the row. And then within that row, we need to get the rows components. So we get the components of the row and the actual component that we want has the ID of the click cell number modded by three. And the mod operator just gets the remainder after division has been performed. So that's how that works. And then now we need to get the changed row. So the changed row is the row that we've actually clicked on. So that's interaction.message.components. Same thing here, math.floor, click cell number, divided by three. All right, so now that we have the changed row, we need to get the length of the actual label. So the length of the label is just the length of this title you see here. The reason why we're getting this length is so that we can change it later on to turn X and turn O. So as you can see, it changes. So in order for it to change, we need to get this length. So the length of the label is equal to interaction.message.embeds, because remember, this is an embed. We get the first embed, so we get the embed at index 0. We get the title of that embed and the length of that title. All right, now that we have the length of the label, we need the current player. So this is the player that's currently playing. So when it says turn O, that would be the player that's currently playing. So var current player is equal to interaction.message.embeds. So that's the same embed that we got in the previous line. We get the title of that embed, and then we get the substring length of label minus 1. So it's the same type of formula that we used up here, substring length minus one, we just get the last value of that label. So that would just be the O or the X. And then we change, we change the label to whatever the current player, or we change the button to whatever the current player is. So click button dot label is equal to current player. So the same way you see this button change, that's how it's being done. And then we change the current player. So if the current player is X, then it turns into O. If it's O, then it turns into X. We create a new label. It's not being posted yet. We're just creating it. We're going to post it a little later. So we create a new label. So if our new label equals turn colon, and then the current player that we just changed up here. We create a new board by creating a new array of rows. So if our rows equals empty array. And then now we need to iterate through the rows that we have here and see which one has been changed. So four I equals zero, two I is less than three. So it goes through zero, one, and two, goes through all three rows and it increments each one. The current row is equal to interaction.message.components I. So it's now, so this row is the current row that we're at. And then if the row is not changed, we don't want to update it. So the way we, we test for that, do we say if I is not equal to the clicked row number? Because remember, we got the clicked row number up here. So if I is not that clicked row number, then we just push this row into the rows array. So we don't change the row. We just add it to the row array. And then if it is the clicked row, then we push the changed row that we created up here. Because remember, we got the changed row and we updated the button of the button that was clicked. We updated the label of the button that was clicked. 
and then that's all you really need now we just need to actually update it within the interaction so we say interaction dot update embeds we create a new embed just like we did inside of our tic tac toe .js. so new message embed dot set title new label and so we get a new message embed and we set the title to whatever our current player is and within the components we get all three rows so row zero rows one and rows two all right and that's basically all the code that you need to get this tic-tac-toe bot up and running if you have any questions please leave me a comment down below or you can ask me a question here in our discord server and if you need the code you can head over to our github which is also linked down below inside of the description if you like the video please like and subscribe this has been steam code and i will see you all next time